Hi all, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we will see about how to create the drop down list and how to edit the drop down list and how to create the dependent drop down list in Microsoft Excel. Let's go into the video. We'll see about how to create a drop down list. Uh, first of all, here we have uh, a table uh, in which we have a team one, team two, team three and team four. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create a drop down list uh, from this data. Uh, for example, if I wanted to create a drop down list for the team one, then uh, what I have to do and uh, uh, for example, if I wanted to create the team two for which the drop down list, then uh, I should uh, have the persons who are responsible for the team two has to be listed down. So that way we are going to create the drop down list. First of all, um, there are two ways by which you could create this list. Firstly, let us see the first method. Um, let me select the team members in team number one. After selecting the team members, I can directly go to this uh, name box where I can click and then I can type the team one and then enter. Uh, when I entered the team one by selecting all the members inside team one, uh, then I'm creating a group. So for example, in the drop down of the name box, you will find the team one. So if I uh, select that, then uh, I will see like all the members of the team one has been highlighted here. So now we have created a drop down uh, list for team one. So how we could use them is here, you can select the um, responsible where I wanted to uh, keep the team. So I go to the data and then here there is a data validation. So either you can select the cell or the entire um, column you can select and then you can select the data validation. Here in the allow, you have to select instead of the any value, you can select the list and then here you have to type it as equal to team, team one. So when we do so, uh, all these uh, uh, cells or the or this column which is selected uh, has the property of uh, uh, drop down for the team number one so when i click on to the uh, drop down i could see the team members of the team one is getting displayed so i can always select for any of the activity um, activity one so in that way uh, we could uh, make use of this drop down list so this is a simple drop down list where you could where you can easily select the uh, team members uh, instead of typing it manually and you wanted to uh, have them in the list then uh, obviously we need to edit our uh, existing list drop down list how we can edit it uh, for instance if you go and select it over here in this uh, name box you will only find the uh, list of uh, members who belongs to team one but in order to edit it uh, you have to go to the formulas and then go, click on to the name manager. When you click on to the name manager, you will find the drop down list and then go to the uh, click on to this uh, uh, drop down uh, list which you wanted to edit and then click on edit. When you have the op when you click on to the edit, then you have the option of uh, um, the, the list name will be given here and it refers to what is the range. So here I wanted to increase the range. Uh, so right now the range is from G7 until G10. So if I wanted to increase the range by uh, one or two, I can increase it by typing the range. Okay, now my range is increased. Now if I go and select this uh, um, team's drop down list, I see the range, uh, it comes until um, G11. So when you click on to the drop down, you have one more uh, uh, person you can add it up. So if you add it here, say for example, if you're adding a new member to your team, then the new member will also be seen in the drop down list. So in this way, you can edit your drop down list. So earlier we had seen about how to create the drop down list and uh, how to edit the drop down list. And now in this uh, uh, video, we will see about uh, how to create a dependent drop down list. So when we meant about the drop down list, it's simple that we create a list from here 
and then wherever you if you wanted to create a list there we go and uh, select the data validation and then we pointed out to this list so all the uh, members who are named in this particular list alone will be visible now in this dependent drop down list what we are going to do is we are going to add all the teams all the four teams together and then we are going to select the members from each team for example if i am going to mention it as team 1 then i should see the members uh, in the column J, we should see only the members who belongs to that particular selected team. Uh, okay, let us uh, look into how we could do it. Firstly, you have to select all these teams. Team 1, Team 2, Team 3 and Team 4. So, all the four teams are selected. Then go to the formulas tab and then go to the create from selection. And then you will see like create names from the selection. So, you have to select the top row as an option. And then when you select click OK then go to the name box and click on to the drop down you will see like all the teams uh, uh, the drop down list for each list that we have selected uh, will be displayed here for instance if i select the team one i see the members who belongs to the team one will be highlighted similarly for all the rest of the team for example i selected the team four so uh, members who belongs to the team four is getting displayed here uh, in this way we have created the drop down list now um, so now i'm going to uh, link all the uh, list together in in this particular uh, column so for that what we have to do is select all the uh, rows in a particular column where you wanted to uh, format this particular these this column uh, in a such a way that it's going to be a list kind of a uh, cells for that uh, we select this particular uh, cells and then go to uh, data and then go to data validation when you click on to the data validation again uh, you have to select the list and here you have to select the range so earlier we used to give only one particular uh, group of uh, members now uh, we are going to give the range range of the list so for that um, you can select all the team 1 team 2 team 3 team 4 each team i mean team 1 it represents the entire list drop down list of uh, this uh, column G and team 2 it represents a separate list team 3 and team 4 as such so we are going to select all the headings together and click OK now when you select the drop down uh, you will find all the team 1 team 2 team 3 and team 4 getting listed down as a drop down list now the second most important po point is that uh, here in this particular column I wanted to see only the members who belongs to that particular team which is selected over here for example if I select the team 1 here then I should see the team members who belongs to the team 1 so for that what we have to do is select all the rows and then go to the data validation again go to the list and here we have a uh, formula called indirect it's a kind of an indirect referencing of uh, list so uh, after typing the indirect and then the open uh, braces then you have to select the list so here um, i know that uh, team one is a single list uh, and then team two is a separate list so here i'm going to select this particular uh, cell okay and then click okay so now if you see when i selected the team one i should see the numbers who belongs to the team one in the same way if I select team 3, I should see the members who belongs to the team 3 should be listed down in this particular column. Okay, uh, so in this way, we could create it. Let me just try. Okay, we go for the second row and here we select it as team 2 and I should see the members who belongs to team 2. Okay, but here you see, I still see the team members who belongs to team 1 here. The reason behind this is uh, when we selected all together in this range, uh, in the data validation uh, we have selected one single cell it means that we are going to we are always pointing out this particular cell uh, so all the all your uh, all your row data over here this list is pointing towards this particular drop down list uh, of uh, um, of uh, i column and uh, 17 i 17 but if i need to vary based on the uh, rows then uh, make sure that you don't use a uh, dollar symbol in your number so i i'm deleting that now and i'm clicking okay now for each row 
uh, for example if i am going to for the selected uh, row i will refer only to the uh, adjacent uh, adjacent column for example if you see uh, for the team 2 i could see only the team 2 members here uh, if i am selecting the team 4 then i sell, i should see the uh, team 4 members should be listed down here so in this way you could create the dependent uh, drop down list it will be very much useful when you are going to create a big chunk of data and if you wanted to uh, um, go based on uh, dependent groups so in that cases this dependent drop down list will be much useful so with that uh, you would have got an insight about how to create the drop down list and how to edit the drop down list and how to create the dependent drop down list uh, hope you like the uh, video uh, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel for more such videos thank you